Hello viewers, welcome to the section Deep Learning with R. In this section, we will learn about performing logistic regression using H2O, performing logistic regression using TensorFlow, setting up a neural network using H2O, tuning hyperparameters using grid searches in H2O, and setting up a neural network using TensorFlow. Now we'll move on to the video performing logistic regression using H2O. In this video, we will build the GLM model using H2O. Generalized linear models are widely used in both regression and classification based predictive analysis. These models optimize using maximum likelihood and scale well with larger data sets. In H2O, GLM has the flexibility to handle both L1 and L2 penalties. It supports Gaussian, binomial, Hoysian, and gamma distributions of dependent variables, it is efficient in handling categorical variables, computing full regularizations, and performing distributed in-fold cross-validations to control for model overfitting. It can also handle automatic missing value imputation. It uses the hog-wild method for optimization, a parallel version of stochastic gradient descent. Open the R Studio. To start modeling, load the required package in the R environment. You can find this logistic regression H2O R file in your code bundle. Then, initialize a single node H2O instance using the h2o.init function on eight cores and instantiate the corresponding client module on the IP address localhost and port number 54321. The H2O package has dependency on the Java JRE. Thus, it should be pre-installed before executing the initialization command. Now we will demonstrate steps to build the GLM model using H2O. First, load this highlighted occupancy train and test data sets in R. In the line number 10 and 11, the X independent and Y dependent variables will be used to model GLM. We have also defined the input and output variables. Based on the requirement for H2O, convert the dependent variables into factors using this occupancy train and test lines of code. Then, convert the datasets to H2O parse data objects using this train and test dot hex lines of code. Once the data is loaded and converted to H2O parse data objects, run a GLM model using the H2O.GLM function. In the current setup, we intend to train for parameters such as five-fold cross-validation, elastic net regularization that is alpha, and optimal regularization strength that is lambda search. Run this occupancy train.glm block of code to train the model. The performance of the model can be assessed using many metrics such as accuracy, area under curve, AUC, misclassification error, percentage, F1 score, precision, recall, specificity, and so on. However, in our example, the assessment of model performance is based on AUC. Go back to our R Studio. In line number 29, you can see the training accuracy model. Click the Run button to add it in our console tab. In this line of code, we have the cross-validation accuracy. Click the Run button and add this cross-validation accuracy in our console tab. Now, let's assess the performance of the model on test data. This line of code helps in predicting the outcome of the test data. Each time, you have to click the Run button to add code into our console tab. Then. Evaluate the AUC value based on the actual test outcome, which is defined in this highlighted code. Again, click the Run button to add these lines of code into our console. In H2O, one can also compute variable importance from the GLM model from this highlighted line of code. Here, we compute variable importance and performance. Click on the Zoom button to see the output in better visualization. In this video, we have performed logistic regression using H2O.